let's talk about Iran. So, uh, and I'm happy to take, uh, take questions about uh, what's going on in Israel, Hamas as well, but let's talk about Iran quickly. Uh, so, a, a couple of pretty, I mean, one is an expected story, one's a pretty stunning story, but anyway, uh, the first, which is another tragedy, another tragedy out of the Middle East, another tragedy out of Iran. I don't know if you saw the story, there's actually video of this uh, circulating on Twitter and elsewhere, of a young girl, um, I think she's 16, I think she was 16, who went onto the subway in Tehran not wearing a hijab and never came out. Uh, she was beaten, um, uh, she was beaten senseless on the subway, she was taken out, um, uh, you know, in a, in, on a stretcher. Uh, beaten by men, by the morality police who caught up with her. Uh, her th much of this was caught, or at least the, the, the beginning and end of this were caught on video, uh, and, and that video is being circulated uh, from cameras in the, in the uh, subway in Tehran. Uh, her name was Amita Garavand, Amit Armita, A-R-M-I-T-A, Garavand, and... Uh, uh, she is another victim of the Iranian morality, quote, in quotes, police. Um, and and um, anyway, she was in a coma uh, until yesterday where they decided to take her off uh, the machines, and she did die yesterday, and the family was notified. The family was not allowed to bury her. My assumption is that they did not want the family to see the body. They did not want to see the family to see the extent to which he was brutalized by the thugs in the so-called morality police. And you have a regime that legitimizes such stuff, that encourages it. Uh, you have uh, this, the, the, the most ugly treatment of women possible on earth. And yet we still see uh, leftist intellectuals, feminist leaders um, supporting the Iranian regime, supporting Hamas, supporting the activity. Again, just uh, really unthinkable. Uh, the horror the women are going through in Iran right now, particularly young women, particularly young women who would like to be free. I mean, there are many reasons to get rid of the Iranian regime, and certainly the American government and the American military force should not get rid of the Iranian regime for the sake of these women. But since we have an interest in getting rid of that regime anyway, why not, you know, hand it over to these women, let them run things? So uh, really horrific. Uh, this girl beaten to death, died in, the died in a coma, um, and, and, and became another one of, of the women who have died uh, for the cause of their own liberty, their own freedom. We will see whether her deaths result in the kind of demonstrations uh, that we saw last year, at the end of last year, I, I hope so. I, I hope at some point this takes off and becomes a real revolution in Iran. It does, really does seem like uh, the West will not take care of Iran. Um, maybe, maybe it'll take the women of Iran to take care of the Iranian regime. And one of the horrors of this, this is just such an inexplicable, inexplicable, that is a word, dimensions of this is, and this is not a joke, because this, this would be probably out of the onion, kind of a, 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 a ridiculous kind of a parody of the world in which we live. But this Thursday, just as uh, the young 16-year-old, uh, uh, you know, just as Amida was lying dead in the hospital, beaten by the Iranian morality police. This Thursday, um, the Islamic regime in Iran, actually is coming Thursday, so this is after it was announced that she was dead. The Islamic regime in Iran will become the chair of the United Nations Human Rights Council Social Forum. I mean, I, what do you say about that? Right? Given everything that we've seen and how they treat women over the last year. By the way, the foreign minister of Iran was visiting the United Nations. 
isn't it stunning that the United States allows this monster onto American territory and allows him to visit the United Nations in New York City? But in spite of the fact that Iran has public executions with no fair trial, the fact that homosexuality is a, a, a crime punishable by death, the fact that the Iranian regime is the leading sponsor of terrorism, the fact that they fund terror and destruction all over the Middle East, the fact that they treat women the way that they do, none of that matters to the United Nations. None of that matters. Iran is now the chair of the United Nations Human Rights Council Social Forum. How could he even be a member of the forum? Human rights? Human rights, the concept means nothing. Zero zilch. It is eradicated. It is void. If Iran is considered a member of a human rights anything. It's a, it, this is a, a, a travesty. I think it was, um, God, what country was it that suggested that they might leave the United Nations? Um, I see the woman's face, but I can't remember who it was. Anyway, it's a travesty. Every civilized country in the United Nations should boycott the United Nations, should leave the United Nations. The United States should have a long time ago sent them packing, uh, kicked them out of the New York City. New York City is too good of a city, even in its current state, to host the United Nations. Pack them up, send them to Caracas or to Tehran or somewhere like that. But there is no reason, no reason to sanction an organization that does this. Uh, again, we're talking about a, 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 you know, an Iranian regime that has killed women, that has massacred protesters. There's just no excuse.